Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today is gonna be a full face tutorial. I have not done one of these in forever. I don't think I did any last year. So you guys have been like, when are we getting the makeup videos? Why are we still doing makeup videos? Like what is going on? Well, I'm back and I will be getting them out for you. I've just had like a love-hate relationship with beauty and but I just feel like, you know what? I need to give the people what they want, you know? And uh, so I will be coming back on YouTube and also on Instagram. I won't lie, I have been hiding away. My skin has just not been on point. I know a lot of you would like me to start from scratch, like start from like foundation up until the end, you know, the whole transformation. This one thing I do is transform and I'm here for it. I've just, I've just been going through it. So yeah, be nice guys. I, this is a lot of courage, me coming on here. Like I look a hot mess, but I feel like I don't want to keep putting off these videos. So I just have to just brave it. But um, yeah, I'm getting a chemical peel pretty soon. So hopefully it makes a difference. I think I, I think my issue is I just haven't been consistent with the peels. I do one and then I'll be done and won't do one for another year. And it's, you're supposed to get like, you're supposed to get them quite regularly. So that could be my thing. So this is gonna be my updated foundation routine. I have had a few changes with my products, so I thought I'd do a new video for you. So this part was filmed separately because I forgot to film an intro, so I re redid my makeup and also changed my eye a little bit. I do have like this little like graphic liner thing going on. It's not perfect, but I had to do a quick Instagram um, TikTok video with it. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Ignore my skin. I have been hiding, like just not doing any makeup related videos because like I've never broken out this much in my entire life. I do have like a chemical pill coming up in like two weeks. I'm just gonna take my trusty NYX brow pencil. So I'm just literally just filling it in. You guys have been screaming, literally threatening me to bring back the beauty videos. I'm like, okay, like I'm literally like scared for my life at this point. I am listening. I'm gonna try and bring them back and I really hope you guys actually watch them. Just using the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced to shape and clean the bottom of my brows. Next, I'm going to color correct. I've been using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. This is the color Pumpkin. So I literally just add uh, a little bit on, my, on a little bit under my eye and then all around my mouth. And then take a synthetic brush and just like blend this out. My foundation tend to tends to look grey in these areas. Sometimes I prime, sometimes I don't. But since I'm not really going anywhere, this is just like a shooting at home, filming content day, I'm just gonna like skip primer. I feel like sometimes when I don't prime, my skin actually stays matte longer than when I do prime. So I'm just trying to figure out which one works depending on what foundation I use. The foundation I've been reaching for is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I'm in the shade New Caledonia, but I also, for my dark areas, I'm, I am also Marquise. You either use a flat top Kabuki brush or this brush by Morphe. This is the M439, it's like a round Kabuki brush. And I just use that to kind of stipple on the foundation. This is a really good foundation for people with oily skin. I find that I don't get to get, I don't tend to get oily um, as quick. It was pretty good. So the areas that I still come in through. Um, I go over it with Marquise because like those dark areas around the bottom of my mouth still needs a bit more coverage. So I go over that with the lighter shade, which is Marquise. Then I go into another color correcting technique with a different concealer. This is the shade Mahogany. before going over it with my actual like under eye concealer shade. So I'm applying that under my nose. I'll take it in a little bit. So can I concentrate the shade the color in the inner part and then on the outer part. I 
bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead. Keep its bow. Ooh, that's part of it. Because I do have those lines, I mean, my tired lines, I let it set for a little bit. The one on my forehead, I, the one on my forehead though, I do just blend out. This brush, by the way, is the Morphe M536. It's kind of like a pointy type brush. And I use it to apply my concealer, like my under eye concealer. Definitely the brushes that you use play a big part in how your like how your base looks. I am trying, I am like testing out a few different brushes and trying to like alternate between different ones to see which one works better. But um, these so far have been my go-to. I have discovered a couple more which I've ordered, so I want to try them out. But um, yeah, definitely, like I said, the, your tools definitely make a big difference between a really good base and just, you know, a not so good base. For my cream contour, I've been using the KVD Beauty Full Coverage Concealer. This shade is Deep 187. I'm going to add that as my contour shade. The brush I use for this is a lot of Morphe's actually, a lot of Morphe brushes. This is a Morphe E8, looks like that. I've not done this in a while. Remember that everyone literally was like, this hand gesture had everybody in a chokehold back in the day. But it's kind of like a, this kind of shape brush. And I use that to kind of like stipple in the shade. Could probably go in with a little bit more. Yeah. I just want to bring back some warmth to my face and bring back the dimension. The foundation definitely makes your face look flat. I definitely just I have to have something like either something bronze or contoured whenever I do my foundation looks because I feel like it just makes my face like one dimensional. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna blend the under eye concealer out. I'm trying not to completely like over blend. So on the outer corner, I just do it normally, but when I get to the inner, I'm a lot more gentle so that I can still keep the color concentrated. You can obviously use a different brush for this too. Um, so that you can keep the color still, like I said, concentrated on the areas you need a lot more coverage. Just turn down my, my camera so you can see the shade a little bit better. I do need to add some more under my eye. I'm gonna try and marry these two colors together. So I'm going over it. There's no extra product on this, the contour brush. Going over it just to kind of marry those colors together. I will obviously set it with two separate powders. Then I'm gonna set my under eye with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. Been trying out these like powder puffs. I do wanna get a smaller one. I think I feel like this is more for the face. And I've been using this to like set my under eye. Seems like that's what the go-to tool is these days. So I'm just using that, packing that 
under my eye. The shade I use, by the way, is Blondie. I still use my Sasha Buttercup, usually I would do that first and then go over it with this one but I wanted to try uh, just this powder today concentrating it in the inner part as well because that's where my the line tends to show through to set my contour I'm using the Juvia's Place contour palette and I'm just going to just apply that colour pull it upwards as well this is the shade, this is the this is the shade dark, I think. Deep dark. Deep dark. And then the same for my forehead. This brush is a real technique. Whatever this brush is, that'd be that's what I use. I got this from Trigwell Cosmetics. They sell them on either the website directly or you can get them from beautybay.com. I definitely need to order the much smaller ones so I can get more preci get precise. Cause I can't, I feel like this is much more for like the face. I need to get the smaller ones to be a bit more precise for the eyes. Just gonna go with whatever's left. My forehead. And set my brows a little bit also. Right through my nose. I usually would go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Deep Dark, but I'm trying the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. And I'm just gonna use this for, um, yeah, to set my face. It is full coverage, so I don't wanna add too much. Just to kind of set and blend the two areas together just gonna contour my nose I'm using the contour powder and a thinner brush and just shaping my nose And then with my concealer brush, just gonna like try and soften the edges a little bit more. I'm just gonna add some, I'm gonna add some eye primer. This is the Urban Decay, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have used this from the very beginning, like since the very beginning of my YouTube career, basically. Like it's just been my go-to. I just, I don't know, I don't use anything else. It just seems like if it's not broke, why fix it? Like it just does the job. So I start with a orange, an orange shade. This is Morphe. I'm not sure what, sh what palette this is. The Artistry palette. It's this one has like the neutrals. So I take the orange, my transition shade. And then I go in with the Juvia's Place like neutrals palette, the brown palette. I go in with this brown as my crease shade. And I go in as my crease shade to deepen the crease. And then I go in with this like 
taupe. Then I go in with this like taupey gray color. I think it's taupe. And I put it in the center. I place it in the center of my lid. I mean, this is literally my go-to technique, the halo technique. And then just apply the color. Then go back with the brown and merge the colors together. Merge it on both sides. The darker brown just a little bit and just deepening the crease. Go to mascara, the Benefit Bad Girl Bank. Like, if you can find a better mascara, please tell me because I still have not found one that literally beats this. Like, I have no lashes, like no natural lashes, but this somehow manages to find them and just pull them out. So, still my go-to, still my holy grail. Absolutely amazing mascara. Using my highlighter palette, my collab palette with Black Up Cosmetics, still my ride or die highlighter palette. I like, I literally don't use anything else. I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna take this, the gold one and this one and just go in my inner corner. And also down the bridge of my nose. And Cupid's bow. For my lashes, I'm using these. They're from my collection, but they're not actually on the site. I've just been testing them out. But whenever I'm, if you see me on socials, this is literally what I'm wearing the majority of the time. Either this, or I'm wearing So Extra Mini, which is also from my lash collection, my lash brand. So I will link that down below too. I'll link the website to my lash brand. I'm always wearing my brand. I have like over 10 different styles. I had to do that off camera because it was just a bit too fiddly. Let's add some blush. I'm using the Marina Beauty Chocolat. A little bit of the Cambi Berry also by Marina Beauty. Looks like that. It's like a berry shade with a bit of, with some, it's like a berry shade with some like shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. For my waterline, using the Revolution Black Pencil. One of my favorite lipsticks, liquid lipsticks is literally like, I think it's discontinued. It's the Morphe True Story. So I've been quite annoyed trying to find an alternative. This is what I've been wearing like lately. This is the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick. This shade is Salem. You could just use a brown lip liner. I use it as a lip liner. So I, I apply it to the outer corner. So this is a shade, the Morphe True Story. I'm literally scraping whatever's left. So it looks like that. Really like the shade. I'm trying to find an alternative, honestly, guys. I go over that with, with the Kiko Brown Lip Liner, Lip Pencil.
I'm gonna use the Fenty Hot Chocolate Gloss Bomb in the outer corner. In the inner corner, I'm using Kiko's number 19 lip gloss. So yeah, this is my go-to look. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. I will obviously be linking everything in the description box. So whenever you see me on socials, this is literally the look I'm rocking the majority of the time. I won't lie, it's really giving me throwback, throwback vibes. But um, yeah, I liked it. I liked, you know, finally being able to sit down and do a full face for you from start to finish. I'm trying to get myself back into this game, the makeup game, you know, and try and give you some more looks. But I hope you like this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.